So Bradford City have just progressed through into the next round of the AFL Trophy, beating Liverpool FC's under-21 side 4-0, and it could have been a lot more in the end. And in today's video, I'll be bringing you guys my thoughts and opinions on tonight's win. If you do go on to enjoy, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you're trying to 80 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. We're on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so, and it does massive help i'll get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below let me know down below your thoughts on tonight's game going into it i think it could have potentially been a little bit of a banana skin because liverpool's under 21s have been doing pretty decent in their league so far this season they've obviously got some good plays in there they had a first teamer in there as well in is it ben doak i do believe who has you know made a couple of senior appearances for the reds so far this season and i thought Overall, they were actually quite poor. You know, they had some pace on the counter-attack. They obviously got a red card in the game. We'll speak about that as well. But I think if it wasn't for their goalkeeper... In the end, it could have finished 6-7-8 because we absolutely battered them, especially in that second half. I think when the, the changes made, or the changes were made, we looked much better. And I think when Doak went off for Liverpool, I think that's when they really started to struggle. And I think that's when really they did lose their confidence. But make sure to drop a like on there for me. Subscribe if you're new as well. And let's get into it. Channel memberships are now cheaper than ever with Tier 1 costing just 99p. Tier 2 has been reduced from 3 99 a month down to 1 99 a month. And Tier 3 has been reduced from $8.99 a month down to just at $4.99 a month. Your support, as always, is massively appreciated. The more members that we have, the better the content will be. Enjoy the rest of the video. In terms of how we lined up then for this match, we made three changes from last Tuesday's 3-0 win away at Forest Green Rovers with Harry Lewis coming in between the sticks. Now, obviously, he hasn't played any EFL trophy games so far this season, but Colin Doyle was suspended. Uh, I think he picked up two bookings in the group stage, so Lewis came in to start. Jonathan Tompkinson started on the right of the back three with Sam Stubbs in the middle and Kieron Kelly on the left. You have Brad Halliday and Luis Richards as the two wing backs. Richie Smallwood as the holding midfielder with Clark Adore and Jamie Walker just ahead of him. Then up front you had Andy Cook and Tyler Smith. I believe Liverpool started out theirs with a 4-3-3 formation. And we were ahead after just seven minutes. Now I follow wasn't really working for the first 15-20 minutes but I've managed to see a replay back on Twitter. I'm pretty sure it's Jonathan Tompkinson plays a long ball. Andy Cook heads it down and Tyler Smith with some nice play actually. He has to hold off the defender and he took it brilliantly away into the uh, near the top corner. It went into towards the roof of the net. And it was a really good finish. And it gave me sort of flashbacks to Hansen and Wells, that type of goal. You know, a direct ball up to the big target forward. And then the smaller pacey striker gets on the end of it to finish. And then for the rest of the sec uh, the rest of the first half, sorry, not a lot really happened. There was a couple of half chances. Andy Cook had a header, which was well saved by Mrozek in goal for Liverpool. And obviously the only real other controversial talking point in that first half was Liverpool's red card. Kumas was sent off for an absolutely shocking challenge on Kieron Kelly. Now, I don't know if he was trying to get one back because Kelly put in quite a bad foul, quite a bad tackle on Doak earlier on in that first half. The ball got played to Kelly, he took a little bit of a heavy touch and as he went to like stretch for the ball, he, he did catch him and it was a pretty bad tackle. I don't think it was anything to really get too concerned about. He clearly wasn't trying to injure him, he was just more trying to halt the counter-attack and that is why he did pick up a yellow card for it. But the tackle from Kumas on Kelly was absolutely shocking. The ball had gone way before that and he jumps in it nearly at hip height, two-footed, absolutely disgusting tackle from Kumas. He really did let his side down and whether you're trying to get one back or you're trying to leave one on him, there's doing that and then there's an absolutely shocking tackle. It genuinely wouldn't surprise me if he gets an extended ban for that because it was a disgusting tackle. You know, to go in two-footed at basically hip height, if it had been someone like a Bobby Poynton who's much smaller and not quite as robust as Kieron Kelly, we could be looking at a really, really serious leg breaking injury and I think that is something that these younger players have to consider you know they need to be able to keep their discipline much better if they want to make it in to the senior team you can't be going and losing your head like that it was an absolutely shocking tackle and thankfully Kieron Kelly came away from it perfectly fine and we managed to get the job done in the end our second goal then came just five minutes into the second half some great build-up play on our right hand side I think it was Tyler Smith played the ball through to Andy Cook he shrugs off one of the defenders I think it was Nalo the Liverpool centre 
centre half, gets it onto his left foot, and it's a brilliant finish at the goalkeeper's near post on his weaker foot. Absolutely brilliant strike from Andy Cook, and that is when we saw our first substitutions of the game, just eight or so minutes later, with Alex Gilead coming on for Jamie Walker, Vidane Oliver coming on for Andy Cook as well. He's getting some more minutes tonight, which was great, and a return for Alex Patterson, which was the most important thing. We've not seen him since the 3rd of October, since Mike Hughes' final game for the football club, but Alex Patterson came on for Clark Adore. Obviously, we'll go through each individual player in a bit more detail in a moment, but Alex Patterson, for me, had a really, really good performance. I was very impressed with Pato and what he managed to put on and produce in tonight's fixture, but it didn't take as long for us to be on the score sheet once more. Just six minutes later, Vidane Oliver finally had another goal in Amber and Claret. Obviously, he was similar to Patterson, but just on a much bigger scale. He had a long-term injury. He got injured, I think, around April time and only came back over the last couple of matches. Hasn't featured all too much in the league and all that sort of stuff, but it's great for him to get back on the score sheet. I don't know specifically when his last football goal for Bradford City was in a competitive match, but it's great for him to obviously get onto the score sheet tonight. The ball came to Richie Smallwood on the edge of the box. He took a strike, and while their goalkeeper did have a very good game, I think he could certainly do better with it. He either needs to catch it or parry it wide. He parries it straight into Viden Oliver's path, and he's there to stab home for 3 0. And you. After that, we're co completely controlling the game. We're having chance after chance. Their keeper's making some really, really good saves. Tyler Smith could have had four or five ga uh, four or five goals sorry, in tonight's game. I genuinely don't think he had a bad game at all, Tyler Smith. Their keeper was just making some very, very good saves. In the 72nd minute, we saw Matty Platt come on at 4 Kieron Kelly. Also, Bobby Poynton come on for Richie Small. That saw Patterson move from like the 8-10 roll down to playing as a number 6, which is not something we've seen Alex Patterson do, but he pulled the strings very nicely, and he contributed towards our last goal as injury time was approaching I was nearly falling asleep watching the rest of the game but I managed to stay awake just about to watch Alex Patterson play a brilliant ball over the top there a bit of commotion going on and Tyler Smith managed to beat the offside trap he brought the ball down eventually hammered it in at the keepers near post and it was a brilliant finish great to see three of our strikers on the score sheet obviously Tyler Smith getting a brace I think that puts him as joint Bradford City top goal scorer now this season uh, I think him and Cook are both tied on nine obviously Smith should probably go on and win the Bristol Street Motors Trophy Golden Boot now. I think he's on, is it six goals so far in this competition? He's obviously got two in the league, one in in the Carabao Cup against Wrexham. So yeah, he's got six goals in the AFL Trophy and we're obviously into the next round as well. He only probably needs another one or two and he might actually go on and win the whole thing, which would obviously be very impressive. I think this tie was one of the easy ones that we could have got. Obviously, them getting the red card helped us and they didn't really offer too much of a threat, to be honest with you. Their goalkeeper was good. Doak had some threatening moments on the counter with his pace. You know, they had some tr tricky, quick players, but I don't think they had a shot on target all game and I certainly think we could have got a much harder fixture. I think we're now into the last 16. I don't know if that means like last 16 regional or it means there's uh, eight northern teams and eight southern teams left. I'm not too sure. Someone let me know down in the comment section down below, please, if you do know. But in terms of some statistics from this match then, we had 25 shots. They had eight. We had 16 shots on target. They had zero. So their goalkeeper made 12 saves, which I think you've got to give him a lot of credit for because there wasn't really many of them where you think, oh, that's a fairly average save. He made a good four, five, six, really really good save tonight so I am going to give him quite a lot of credit we had 52% of possession they had 48% we attempted 462 passes they attempted 441 we had a 75% passing accuracy they had a 74% passing accuracy as well we committed 15 fouls they committed 7 we picked up 2 yellow cards they picked up 1 we obviously picked up no red cards and they picked up 1 we actually had 7 offsides tonight which I think is quite disappointing they only had the 1 we also had 8 corners compared to their 2 I think we could have certainly done a lot more from set pieces tonight obviously they're under 21 side we've got the age and experience on them I was quite disappointed to see us not score from a couple of set pieces and we never really looked like scoring from them to be honest with you but job done into the next round that's all that matters at the end of the day and again it's another win we keep winning we keep building four wins in a row now in all competitions has been is it three red cards in our last four matches which is really bizarre to be honest with you but we're getting the jobs done we've got a big game on Saturday against Salford a lot of players look like they're in good form there's a lot of competition for places, a lot of players coming back from injury as well now and I'm really excited for that game against Salford, it should be a good game, they're obviously a good side, they've got some good players in there like Matt Smith, Elliot Watt, they've got a big budget and you know they're 
played really well last season, was unlucky in the playoff semi-final against Stockport, and this season hasn't quite worked out for them so far, but they're obviously going to look to go again and try and obviously pick up three points on Saturday. So we need to be at it. We need to hopefully go out there, put on a performance, get the job done like we've done tonight and we have done in the past couple of matches. But I'm going to leave it there then for today's video. To summarise, great win, much deserved. Second half was brilliant. Great to see Patson and Oliver back on the pitch as well. But I'm going to leave it there for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could join it, 80 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help. I'll get your thoughts in on tonight's win down in the comment section down below. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Let me know down below as well who do you want in the next round and I'll see you all very soon for another video. Peace.